Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to explain in detail how to create the most broken landing build to make Shadow of the Air Tree a piece of cake. This build is based completely on using two fantastic incantations to take full control of every single enemy and boss. The first one is the Knight's Lightning Spear, a brand new spell that is an improved version of the regular Lightning Spear. It's a solid incantation that can be used as the main source of damage of any build, but we are going to use it because it deals a very decent amount of stance damage, allowing us to not depend on a melee weapon to break the stance of our targets. And the second one is Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike, the strongest lightning incantation of the entire game. This incantation is one of those few spells that under the riser up can easily delete the entire HP bar of any boss. Our strategy consists mainly on using the Knight's Lightning Spear repeatedly until we break the stance of our target to finish it with a disgusting hit of the Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. The incantations we are going to use are part of the Dragon Cult, which means we can boost our damage significantly in two different ways. We can use the Priestess Heart Dragon Transformation to increase our damage by by 20% but with a counterpart of not being able to use any armor set. Or we can use the full death knight set to get an 8% damage boost when using dragon cult skills and incantations. To me both are great options so feel free to use the one you like the most. Anyways I want to show you the true potential of this build, that's why I will use the priestess heart transformation. I am not a big fan of playing at long range but this combo is so fun and destructive that you get used to it quickly. First of all I'm going to show you the build and then we will beat every major boss of the game and the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. To get the most out of the Dragon Cult incantations, we are going to use two Gravelstone seals to stack its passive effect and increase our damage as much as possible. Anyways, only one of them needs to be upgraded to plus 25. As you can see, I have both upgraded, but this is not necessary, because we are going to use only one to cast the spell. The other one just needs to be equipped in our left hand to receive the passive effect. And we need any weapon with the Raptor of the Mist Ash of War to be able to dodge the Mikela's AoE attack. So if you are going to use the Dragon Priestess, you will not be able to use any armor set as I previously mentioned. But if you are not going to use the Dragon Transformation, feel free to use the Death Knight set to increase your damage by 8% when using Dragon Cult skills and incantations. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Lightning Scorpion Charm, the Flux Canvas Talisman and the Godfrey Icon. If you are missing one of these talismans and if you are in the Dragon Transformation, feel free to use the Blue Dancer Charm, it's a very useful talisman as well. But if you are going to use the Armor Set and you don't have the Godfrey Icon, feel free to use the Faithful Canvas Talisman, it is going to stack with the Flux Canvas Talisman for a total of 12% damage boost when using incantations. And you never can go wrong with a defensive talisman such as the Dragon Crest Grey Shield Talisman. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Stone Barb Crack Tear and the Lightning Shrouding Crack Tear. And I'm going to use the Priestess Heart Dragon Transformation. This thing has to be used twice, the first one will turn your character into a dragon and the second one will activate the buff of the 20% in Dragon Cult Incantations. Another great alternative of this combo but for the base game is the Blood Soaking Crack Tear with the Blood Dancer Charm in the Talismans, but the reason why I am saying that this is going to work mainly on the base game is because the DLC bosses are extremely fast and it is going to be very complicated to break the stance of the DLC bosses without the Stone Barb Crack Tear, but in the base game we can aim straight to deal a lot of damage with the Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike and this build consumes a decent amount of stamina so be sure to craft some Pickle Turtle Legs to boost your stamina regen generation speed. In order to obtain the max performance of our incantations and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on vigor, 35 on mind and endurance, 14 on strength, 24 on dexterity and 99 on fate. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriti are going to be our main buffs. Knight's Lightning Spear and Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike are going to be our main source of damage. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fights? The first thing you have to do is to remove the armor set from your character, then you have to use the Priestess Heart to transform your character into a dragon. Then we have to use Golden Vow and a Pickle Torten Leg which is completely optional but as you know I like to do it. Then we are going to use the Physic Flask but it depends completely on which setup we are going to use. If we are going with the hardest to use setup then we are going to use it right now, but if we are going with the most optimal setup as we are going to use the Stone Barb Crack Tear, it doesn't last enough time so we are going to use the Physic Flask at the last moment. We are going to drink our FP, uh, our FP flask, we are going to use the Priestess Heart again to active the buff that will increase the power of the Dragon Cold Incantations and we are going to use Howl of Shabriri. And now is where we are going to use our Physic Flask. And with this, we are more than ready to go! We 
Let's go, baby! <laughs> there we go, guys. Oh my god, you were close. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! We did it, boys! Oh my god! Amazing, bro. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Okay, let's go. Oh, the damage is more than decent, baby. Okay. That is quick, bro. Oh, bro! <laughs> huh? Let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Please, come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> let's go, it worked! <laughs> okay, maybe this time it's gonna work, guys. We never know. Okay, I don't like that one. I really don't like that one, buddy. Oh my god, you are annoying. Please, come on. Oh my god, I need another one. Take this. <laughs> what is he 
doing? Oh my god, he's crazy, bro. <laughs> that is indeed a lot of damage, bro. <laughs> no. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Missing. Amazing, beautiful. Let's do this. Let's go! <laughs> that was amazing, bro! <laughs> hey there, Mug. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> that is a lot of damage, guys. <laughs> Wow, that is a lot of damage. Wow, that is a lot of damage, bro. What is going on? Oh! <laughs> no way, bro. <laughs> Let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Okay. Get out of here, bro! No way! That was fantastic! Oh, beautiful! You get me, guys? Let's go, baby! <laughs> nice! 